what's up you guys it's tia and we're back with a brand new video so i realized it's been like totally a long time since i made a video and i have had certain school videos that i've been wanting to do for so long and it's been months since i've had dates on them to do them and i decided well since it's so close to school why don't we just do them now so let's get started so I'm deciding to do my How to Survive High School and I will give you guys some of the essentials because I'm not sure how old some of you guys are, how young you guys are, I don't know if any of you guys are actually in high school. I'm assuming there are some and I've just recently graduated high school so I decided to share my tips that I survived high school with. Yeah. So one major thing is you should always have earphones with you no matter like where you go anyways. Just for high school though you should always have earphones on and I would show you earphones but I can't actually find mine right now but you should always have earphones on you because they will definitely come in handy especially if you're taking study hall. Um, the next tip I would suggest is pack your own lunches instead of eating the school food because in the long run it's actually cheaper bringing your own lunch than eating the school lunch because you're probably not going to eat that much off your tray anyways and then you can bring whatever kind of snack to you like if you want to eat healthy go for it. I don't know. I packed my lunch and I brought a lunchable to school every day and other stuff my senior year. So, you do you. I know it sounds kind of nerdy for this next tip, but always take notes. I promise you, you will use them for your test, and you will probably do like 10 times better just actually taking good notes, and it'll help you in your homework. They were my lifesavers in high school. Make sure you make some close friends, because throughout high school, you will lose many of friends, but you will also gain a lot of friends, and throughout your four years, you'll find out who are actually your true friends, so just make sure you make a group of close friends and just have fun. It's it's okay to have fun. Don't sweat it out. If your teacher lets you pick seats, try to get closest to the door. Don't make it look like you're like one of those troublemakers that sits in the back, but try to get close to the door and make good impressions because teachers really do rely on first impressions on what they think of you and if you have a teacher that doesn't like you, your classroom life for the rest of the year will be hell. Next, actually try to study because I promise it will help you in the long run. I'm not trying to be all nerdy, but do try to study. And I will have a video coming out next week with my study tips, by the way. So just don't forget about that in your mind. Keep it right here. It's totally fine. Study. Study. Oh my god, I get dizzy every time I do that. Okay, and my next, my next uh, tip is to join clubs or activities and sports. Um, I know a lot of colleges do look at that, and a lot of people in my class went overboard with going to clubs and activities and sports, but just doing something that actually interests you, um, I promise you it will be better than you think it will be. I regret not joining clubs sooner, I didn't join any clubs until my junior year, which my first club was Spell Bowl, and I was in choir, and then my senior year I was in choir and theater, and just join clubs. I promise you it's nice, it's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. And if you're not going to do it for your schooling, at least do it for yourself to make friends because I promise you that's like the best way to make friends. You will find the best people in these clubs that actually interest you. And my last tip for today is to don't sweat it. High school is four years and I know four years is a long time but it goes faster than you think. I'm not going to say it's the best four years of your life because it wasn't but it's only four years of your life and you're probably going to live to be like 172 or something. So don't sweat it. Just have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be a teenager because then after that you're pushed into the real world where you have to pay bills and taxes and working for the rest of your life. So enjoy high school while you can. Alright, and that's all I have for this week's video. I know it's pretty boring, but I'm going through my weekly cycle and I'm sorry that's probably gross for some of you but I don't feel like moving so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys like these tips and if you might use them and tell me some of your high school tips if you're in high school or done with high school so sorry this is boring but that's that's what I'm giving you guys this week sorry about that but have a nice day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see my face for videos that I'm going to keep trying to do. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at this. College is coming up. I went to California and all these things are happening so fast. So, I'm sorry. I love you guys. Have a nice day. And I will upload another video next week about school studying tips. See you then.